Saturday in Melrose Mountain at higher ground and uh, the sun has broken through the clouds. The rain has stopped at least for a while and uh, we're glad of that. As you saw in the first pictures, Jasmine knows what to do with these rainy days. And uh, we also, at the end of this clip, you'll see uh, some gold we found here on the top of the mountain. Uh, God's gold, uh, precious gold, and uh, beautiful to look at. So we're thankful for all that he's created. We're in Mark chapter 14, verses 3 through 8, which I would have to title, The Revelation of Four Hearts. Four hearts revealed in just these uh, five verses, six verses of Scripture. It's the story uh, just before the crucifixion and the resurrection. Jesus has gone towards Jerusalem. He's in Bethany. He's staying at the house of Simon the leper, and uh, that's likely one of the lepers that uh, Jesus has healed, who's hosting one of the dinners. And do uh, we find uh, very likely this is the same story as uh, found in John and found in Matthew, uh, although some believe that the John's account is a different story, but I, I'm inclined to believe that uh, both John chapter 12 verses 2 through 8 and Matthew 26, 6 are one of the same stories. There's just too many similarities uh, for them to be two different stories. Nevertheless, Mary comes with an alabaster jar, which she undoubtedly purchased for her wedding or funeral, one of her most prized possessions, one that she uh, has saved. And now she pours this uh, expensive ointment on Jesus' head and feet, wipes with her hair and shows her love and her dedication and her sacrifice for Jesus. Yes, that's what I said, it revealed her heart. It revealed how much she loved Jesus, how grateful she was, and how valuable he was to her. The second heart that's revealed is the heart of those practical disciples. For in their practicality, they say, shouldn't this ointment have been sold and the money given to the poor? Now, that's a very practical application for this ointment, uh, but perhaps Practicality is not always in God's best interest. Third heart that's revealed is the heart of Judas, who's already calculated down to the penny how much this ointment is worth. 300 denarii, 11 months wages. That's 11 months wages. And as we find in the gospel account of John, we find that he not only has calculated it down to the penny, but his motives are not to give it to the poor but that he might pilfer it out of the uh, box that would hold the money of the disciples. So we've already had the heart of Mary in worship. We've had the heart of the disciples in practicality, and we've had the heart of Judas in his greed and selfishness. What's the fourth heart? The fourth heart is the heart of Jesus, who understands the disciples' comments, and yet at the same time understands the heart of Mary, and here he says, Mary really understands, for she has anointed me for my burial. She's given sacrificially. And as a result of her dedication and her sacrifice and her understanding of what I must do, she will be remembered forever. Through the words of the scripture and the, the, the gospel as it's preached, Mary will always be remembered for her loving sacrifice for Jesus. Now, there's something that's said in this particular passage of Scripture that bothers many. When Jesus says, the poor you'll always have with you, but you won't always have me with you. Some would say that that is a selfish statement, but not at all so. For he says, you can do whatever you wish for the poor any time you wish, but you won't always have me here on earth. Y you see... Jesus is not cold and callous towards the poor, nor is he selfish in wanting this ointment used for him, but he's appreciative of the fact that Mary believes and understands that he's come to die for us. You see, four hearts are revealed. Mary's heart of worship, gratitude, and thankfulness. The disciples' practicality blessed their hearts. Uh, they were practical, but Practicality is not always the best thing. 
especially when you're worshiping God. And Judas, his greed and his selfishness, and Jesus, his understanding, compassionate, loving heart. Money brings out the best and the worst in people, doesn't it? And here we see the value of this uh, ointment which has been poured on Jesus brings out the best and the worst. That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.